Hello again, Peabody. And this, of course, is my boy, Sherman. Hi. Who are we going back into history to meet today, Mr. Peabody? I'll give you a little clue. Listen closely. I've got it. Admiral Byrd. Wrong, Sherman. Whistler. You mean Whistler, the famous painter? Correct. Now, if you will set the Wayback Machine for the year 1872... Right. Uh, ...and the place, the home of the famous American painter James Whistler in London, England, we shall be on our way. In an instant, Sherman and I were transported to the side of the great artist where we found him hard at work on his most famous painting. But, Mr. Peabody, I thought his most famous painting was of his mother. Whistler's mother. That's quite right, Sherman. But that's not what he's painting. Look. Hmm. Something is amiss here. I beg your pardon, sir. May I ask just what it is you're doing? I'm painting a picture of my mother's chair. Well, I can see that, but uh, aren't you overlooking something? Like what? Like something in the chair? Like what? Like your mother? Oh, yes, mother. I tried to paint mother sitting in the chair, but found that to be impossible. I'm afraid I'll just have to be content to paint her chair. You can't do that, Mr. Peabody. The painting of Whistler's mother will never be famous without his mother in it. That, Sherman, is a keen observation. Why, sir, may I ask, is it impossible to paint your mother sitting in the chair? That's why. I'm afraid I don't understand. Come along and I'll show you. We followed him out of the house into the backyard where suddenly and without warning, a most unusual thing happened. Now I've got you, you wrestler, you. Wait, that's not a rustler, it's Whistler. Mother, please, we have guests. <laughs> Mother? You mean that's Whistler's mother? Uh, how do you do, ma'am? Pleased, I'm sure. Well, howdy, boys. What brings you around these parts? I'm afraid that Mother's hobby is the Old West. All she ever thinks about is cowboys. I've noticed that. And that's why I can't paint her. I can't get her to sit still long enough. Come on, fellas. Let's play cowboys and Indians. Yes! See what I mean? Golly, Mr. Peabody, this is a problem. Quite, Sherman, but I may have the answer. My first task was to lure Whistler's mother back into the house, which, of course, was really very simple. Whoa! Which way did they that away! Good! Follow me! Forming a posse, we all galloped into the house where I quickly put the second part of my plan into action. Boy, that was a keen idea, Mr. Peabody. Now she's as still as can be. Right, Chairman. Pretending to be astride a horse will keep her perfectly happy. You have already painted the chair, sir. Now simply paint your mother sitting in it. I'll try. Hours later, the painting was completed. However, not with the exact results I had expected. Sorry, but I have to paint it like I see it. <sighs> Here she comes again, Mr. Peabody. Yoo-hoo! Bang, bang! Have you got any more ideas, Mr. Peabody? I always have more ideas, Sherman. I shall solve the problem with a contest of speed. Huh? Dressing the great artist in a cowboy suit, I once more confronted his mother. A word has it that you are the fastest gun in the West, ma'am. Is that true? That's right, boy. I'm just like Grease Lightning. Do you think you are faster than he is? <laughs> Land sakes, yes. Well, are you fast enough to say, uh, give him a slight edge? Sure, just name it. All right, come with me. Moments later, the stage was set. Well, sitting in your chair with your guns covered by your cloak and shawl is quite an edge. Are you certain you wish to go through with it? Yep, you just give the word. Placing Whistler in front of his easel, I carefully removed the gun from his holster and replaced it with his trusty paintbrush. Now all was in readiness, so I gave the signal, go! Realizing that he at last had his dear mother just where he wanted her, and that he had to be fast to capture her on canvas, Whistler whipped out his brush, and in the flick of an eye, he painted her portrait. Hooray! I did it! Bang! Shucks! He beat me! Guess I'd better go out and do some more practicing! Giddy up! Gee, it all worked out just right, Mr. Peabody. And this is the painting Whistler became most famous for. Yes, but for some years there was much confusion as to just who Whistler's mother was, due to an earlier painting of his. Uh, this one, to be exact. But that's a picture of a horse running through the rain. How could that cause confusion as to who his mother was? Because of what he called the painting. Mr. Peabody, you mean... Yes, Sherman. For you see, he called it Whistler's mother. <laughs> Thank you.